1969, Fred Hampton, leader of the Black Panther Party in Chicago, had a very interesting idea. He was going to bring his gang of Black Panthers together with the rival gangs of the Young Patriots and the Young Lords in what would be known as the Rainbow Coalition. These groups were made up of Blacks, Whites, and Latinos respectively, and although they had their issues in the past, the thought was that they weren't actually enemies of one another. They had just been convinced that they were enemies of each other by none other than their real enemy. If they could come together instead of fighting one another, they would be able to consolidate power and turn their sights on the force tearing them apart. This Rainbow Coalition was formed early in 1969. It was such a powerful idea that by the end of that year, Fred Hampton would be dead, assassinated by the FBI. It turns out that uniting forces under a common enemy was too powerful of a threat by the people in charge, and they couldn't allow that to happen. Divide and conquer has been a strategy used by the elites for centuries so that we don't recognize the collective power in our unification. If they pit tribes against tribes, countries against countries, religions against religions, the monolith need not worry about its own safety. Today, we have trans rights, gay rights, left first right, Israel Palestine, Russia Ukraine. There may be real debates worth having within these issues, but at the same time, worrying about them keeps you focused on the person with an opposing viewpoint and not the people wanting you focused on these issues. During a recent global event that we all participated in, we were told by our governments that those who didn't want to get injected with a certain thing were being selfish. They were killing their grandma. That they were in for a winter of severe illness and death for themselves, their families, and the hospitals that they may soon overwhelm. They pitted two sides against each other over what was essentially a personal choice, while at the same time, those in charge managed to rake in billions upon billions of dollars. There are definitely differences between ourselves and others, and we do need to learn to live in this world together. But how much are legit differences, and how much of these conflicts are smoke and mirrors so we keep our eyes off of who the real enemy is? Everyone has their political side that they root for. In Canada, the two parties fight and bicker and score points on the board by insulting each other. In Canada here, when Pierre Polyev says that Justin Trudeau is robbing Canadians, his party stands up and claps as they just put those stinking liberals in their place. Whenever Trudeau goes on an um and ah rant, his party does the same thing. But what you need to keep in mind is everyone in this room is making six-figure salaries and all of their travel and food expenses are paid for. All of this is to say, even though these people seem divided, they are both part of the same system that is happily robbing you and me. They are against one another while simultaneously working together to continue the show. But they want you on one team or the other. They want you not trusting your neighbor. They want you bickering over gender roles, sexuality, race. They want you paying attention to Russia versus Ukraine, Israel and Palestine. They don't want you realizing that these things come and go and that they will snap their fingers at the very next thing so you pay attention to it and not them. Don't worry about the tent cities popping up. Don't worry about the new taxes they're implementing for no reason. Keep an eye on your neighbor and the differences between you guys. It's very important that you pay attention to that than it is for you to know who the real enemy is. Keep this in mind when you're arguing with your family, your friends, your colleagues, that the person that you're fighting with is not truly your enemy that the issue you have with them is not the issue that you think it is. Fred Hampton was able to get white supremacists together with black and Latino people to realize that they all really just wanted the same thing. Do you mean to tell me the difference between you and your gay neighbor are greater than a black person and a white supremacist? Fred Hampton started building this rainbow coalition and it spooked those in power, got him killed. But now we're in an age of the internet. It's too easy for messages to spread and we can counteract the hate that's being spread through the media by our enemies. These people, who are our true enemies, by the way, don't hate on them either. Think of the Matrix. Without Agent Smith, Neo wouldn't have become Neo. These evil entities are playing their role just like we are. They are here to help us to evolve and reach our potential. My goal here is simply to have you recognize who the real enemy is. That is not one party that's doing everything wrong. That is not your non-binary needs that is tearing our society apart that just because someone likes Donald Trump does not make them a racist bigot. We all want to live in a society that's successful and peaceful. I'd like you to look at those you disagree with with some empathy. If you hate Donald Trump, I want you to look at those who like him and make a genuine effort to understand what they struggle with. If you think the gay movement has gone too far, I want you to make a genuine effort to look at what they're asking for. Look at these movements because everyone just wants things to be okay and fair to everyone. 
These issues that we're fighting over are not the biggest issues in our society. The issues are that we have agents in positions of high places who are not accountable to make our societies better. They realize that if they keep everyone at each other's throats, all of the woes we feel, we blame it on the other side and not on those whose entire job it is to improve our lot. Keep Fred Hampton and his Rainbow Coalition in mind when you think that your side and your enemies can't unite. The reason you think that is because you're being directed to think that by those who run the show. As Marcus Aurelius tells us, don't waste the rest of your time here worrying about other people, unless it affects the common good. It will keep you from doing anything useful. Stand united, and don't let them divide us.